It's kind of fitting to be in Tokyo and talking about EA Sports MMA as it's, uh, well, the only fighting game that's going to depict the, the Japanese side of, of MMA that's, that's out on the market. So what's it like being here in Tokyo, showing it off to, to the, the Japanese consumers, which I assume is going to be a, a major target for you guys? It's great. I, we've had a great reception so far, and I think that um, uh, the fighters we have in the game really represent the country well, and I, it's going to be a great experience for them the, to be able to fight with Japanese rule sets uh, in venues that make sense, in rings as well as cages. It's going to really feel very natural for them. Yeah, you had Yoshida up on stage, a uh, national idol icon here in Japan, uh, and he replaced Randy on the Japanese cover. <laughs> yes, he what did. does Randy have to say about that? They, he knows who's important in Japan, so that's okay. He's very important here. Yeah. And uh, you're bringing out a demo fairly soon. Can you tell us a little bit about what the demo will, will uh, offer the players? Sure. Uh, the demo will offer the players uh, Fight Now, where you can fight with um, Overeem and Lashley and the heavyweights and Jason Miller and uh, Jake Shields, uh, where you can fight and uh, you can go through MMA 101, learn some of the basics of our controls, as well as just try out the game itself and get in there and fight a little bit. Um, you'll be able to see a lot of feature um, details on what else is going to be in there. You'll be able to share that demo with your friends uh, to earn points uh, to unlock classic Randy Couture as well. Oh yeah, yeah, I noticed that. That's, that's a nice one. What, what does classic Randy Couture mean? Uh, it means when you get back to the early UFC days, uh, a bigger Randy Couture, uh, different, a little bit different the way he fought then than he does now. He's a much more cautious fighter now probably than he was then. Um, just a different, little bit different style in the AI, a little bit different in the attributes. A lot of ground and pound. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, are there any other fighters that you that there will be classic uh, versions of in the game? There are classic versions of a few of the other fighters in the game that um, some of them are through promotional offers with different pre-orders um, from different types of retailers. Uh, but there's like a classic Frank Shamrock, classic Boss Rutten, uh, classic Andre Arlovsky, a few different classic fighters in the game. Yeah, Boss Rutten needs to be a classic because yeah. <laughs> these days it's not. He's still great. He just doesn't fight anymore. But I wouldn't mess with him right now. I don't think anyone would. Eh? <laughs> Speaking of uh, the online and stuff, uh, you got a pretty massive online mode. Uh, I've seen a bit of it. Could you just tell us a little bit about what players can expect from that? There's a lot of great experiences in online. Just from the basic quick match, starting with that, um, every quick match you fight, you're earning contender points. And as you fill up your contender meter, once you've filled it, the next fight you choose quick match on, it's going to go out and find someone else who is a champion online right then in your weight class. And you're going to fight for that belt. If you take it from them, it's yours until someone else who fills up their contender meter comes and takes it from you. If they take it back or someone takes it from you, you have to work your way back up to contender status again. So we keep track of how many times you've earned a belt, how many times you've defended a belt. It's kind of a neat way to build up a reputation online. Every match also earns you experience towards your uh, belt ranking, which is just like a standard martial arts belt ranking where you can see kind of the level of experience and investment people have put into their online fighting. That always shows by their name in every mode. Um, one of the really cool things I think is live broadcasts, which we've talked about before, where uh, we can pick people from the online community, give them an opportunity to fight on an EA Sports live broadcast where we do live commentary for those fighters. They're able to create a hype video to sell themselves as a fighter and fight for real prizes online. We, that's not going to get to everybody because we can only do so many of those. But what we have also is called Fight Cards. And Fight Cards allows you and up to uh, nine of your friends to get together and set up a fight card of your own to do that same type of thing. So you all have headsets. You can choose who's going to do commentary and who's going to, you know, if, just shout out what you want me to do. You can be my corner man, whatever. So you can, or you can just talk smack with each other. So it's a really fun social way to play the game. You finally announced the full roster of the game. Uh uh, are there any specific things that, that you're, you're very proud of that you got into the game that you felt was really important in terms of the fighters? I think we have a great variety of fighters from uh, representing different organizations from around the world. So 
Um, there's hardly an organization we don't have someone out of that's a, a well-known organization. And, uh, and I think we have a great variety of styles. So you get that styles make fights. So you get matchups where it's like, this is a really tough fight for Randy Couture, but this is Fedor can walk in here and win this one, you know. So they're very different fights, but everyone has a chance at all times, just, just like in real MMA. You can surprise someone, keep the game where you want it to be, keep the fight where you want it to be, and win even against a tougher opponent. Like Vadum. Yes, absolutely. In, in the U.S. and I guess Europe, it's been a lot of talk about the strike force deal. Uh, you mentioned Japanese. Are you, do you have any deals with the Japanese organizations? Uh, we don't have any of the Japanese organizations in the game right now. Um, we, uh, we have a great working relationship with them. We have a number of their fighters, but we didn't get uh, the organizations in the game this time. So, does it work, it, like, in terms of organizations in the game, what, what exactly is there? Well, the Strike Force is, the, is uh, the premier league in the United States. We have a fictional uh, organization called Mystic in Japan, uh, which has similar rules to all the Japanese leagues and will feel very familiar to people. Um, and then we have a, a, a four other minor leagues in the game where you work your way up through those, whether they're in the UK or Brazil. So you'll find different, more of the different types of fighters in each of those areas. So you're going to find more stand-up fighting if you go to the uh, league and fight in uh, the UK. If you go to fight in Brazil, you're going to end up on the ground a lot more often. We, we get to hear a lot, about, a lot of complaints about wrestling from UK <laughs> fighters. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably, but uh, most of them clarify that they just don't want stalling tactics, I'm sure. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.